Oh, please let me know when this actually works. Got it. Yep, there we go. Okay, I think that button worked. You what does sure? that button do? I mean, did you just pull the lever? Did you try pulling the lever? Um, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Is there a lever? <laughs> There's not a lever. There's a lever. We're live. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to um, our, first, uh, our first activity of the evening. I'm here with Rand Miller, uh, and he's going to be running around mist. Rand, introduce yourself. Hey. Hey, <laughs> Kelly. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be running around mist and I've never done this before. So, well, I have run around mist before, I ha I, but you know, I don't, here's the fun thing. We've never done a live play like this. Yeah. I've got to say my brother Robin was going to do this with me and he had issues that he couldn't, and he's very sorry he couldn't make it and it yeah. would have been fun. And so we'll sure. have to, we'll have to do a reprieve of that where we're both. That would be amazing because island. that's. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun that would I mean, be fun. probably getting fights and arguments and stuff but <laughs> i don't want to waste too much time I, my disclaimer is i i am going to run through this and i don't remember some of the puzzle solutions i'm going okay. to try not to go in the tower but i okay. don't know if i can do it but i'm going to try and give you inside insights into things and we'll just see what happens i love it yeah. i think that's fantastic that sounds how like a long good has idea. it been and, if you've got you ran. How long has it been since you played this version? This is Miss Masterpiece, which is oh, like it's been a long time since <laughs> this for real. I, I, you know, occasionally we'll go in to get a screen snapshot or something, but to actually yeah. play it, no. Got it. So I'm going in. Let's do this. And I skipped that whole intro with that crappy guy's voice, you know, to realize the moment he fell into the fissure or something, that silly thing. Um, okay, here we are. The iconic dock scene. The iconic dock. Um, okay, so this, by the way, and I'm sure some of you will know this, I'm going to repeat, but the whole four chamber thing was never there. That was added later after we okay. played it. Um, and in I did kind fact, of wonder about that. Robin modeled that as a separate model and then kind of put it in, photoshopped it in later. So Got it. there you go. Uh, birdies or pterodactyls or dragons. I, you know, there's always a discussion about what's up there. I'm assuming you guys can see my cursor. Oh yeah. There. Yeah, oh, we can. Right. It's kind so, of hidden behind the, uh, the cameras a little bit, but yeah, we can, we can see. Okay. That. Yeah. So those, those are supposed to be seagulls, I think, but it looks like they have these long tails, which, you know, they're in another age. So maybe they're cool, different kind of things. Okay. Well, I didn't, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say the scale looks a little off too. <laughs> they look they look a little monstrosity. They do look big. I I like it if they're some kind of weird other age creature that mm -hmm. won't hurt you. Um, uh, let's see here. Little little known things. Um, little known wrong things. Here's here's one. <laughs> a little bit of of terrain coming through here above this light. I'm sure those- I thought that was a light. That. There's actually a light in midair. Sure. You know, Robin, I wish Robin was here because he could correct me, but there's a light in midair that just hangs here that has no- Yeah, just a little, a little point light, yeah. It reflects off of this and you can see kind of mm -hmm. lights up this area. And we did that occasionally. We tried not, we always tried to have a source yeah. for lights, but occasionally we couldn't, we didn't, we cheated. So here's what I'm gonna I, do. I'm just gonna run up, I'm gonna do, things to uh um i love this view this is a view it's a beautiful view lots of screenshots because i always think it it's great so you see that in a lot of missed games that we're selling we take that yeah. screenshot and i like the way this angle of the sun is and you know all that so yeah it's a great angle that mysterious light again i know you guys oh, are yeah. by that, aren't you? it's always subtle think. though it's not really all that noticeable it's subtle and you can see how dark it would be if we didn't put it there. Exactly. We kind of lazy, but not because we were, we honestly were just building stuff. So it was like, well, let's light it a bit. We'll just put a little something yeah. there. We won't be able to tell. Trees, these trees. <laughs> okay. I think it was me. I remember doing lots of this, but these trees, I, I'm sure Robin probably did them too. These are all. These were all just perfect cones. And yeah. Robin and I in Photoshop went and just 
you know, started smearing those out so they'd be a little oh, more. Oh, I was wondering how you did those textures. Hand done smears on those trees. Hand done smears. I love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Um, here's. There's also. Well, I don't know if you can see it. A lot of times, shadows don't exactly correspond because things behind us, we would hide when we'd render it because it right. takes so long to render these images, you know, hours to render them. So if we hide yeah. all the stuff behind us, and sometimes that would affect it by making the shadows go away. Hmm. And I yeah, thought of that. so this note, by the way, yeah. was part of the update that um, we did with the four chamber. We, we oh, tested people okay. with the game and it was so wide open with no goals at all. Yeah. There was not even a short goal in the game. And a lot of people were like, okay, I'm not sure what to do. So, so after a few of those, we realized that just with a sh one note and the four chamber with a message, we could kind of relay a lot of information like mm -hmm. what was, what was a marker switch and, mm -hmm. um, for example, and um, and give you a short goal that would make you feel like you accomplished accomplished something before going moving on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there, there you have it. And that originally was all like crumpled up on the ground in a little ball, and it looked like oh, a lot. was it really? Like, oh, okay. We had to uncrumple it and make it just like a page that, with the sound of that wind, should have blown along, blown away long ago. Yeah, <laughs> That's something I was thinking about. All right. Okay, talk to me about the seal on that door. I've always wondered about that. You know, it's funny you ask because in the new version of, I, I wish Robin was here because he could go into details. Sure. I'm not sure what the source of it is. In the new version of Miss We Just Did, we have a, had a big conversation about what is this seal and can we replace it with something different, better, more detailed, because yeah. the only thing we have is a pretty low res, nasty thing. It looks so, Civil War era, like something you would see on a, on a battlefield kind I, of. We're going to have to ask Robin where it came from, because it was a text yeah, yeah, yeah. picked up somewhere, and it's been changed, and you'll have to ask Eric about the new mist and what we've done with that. That's, so. a, that's a tomorrow conversation. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, exactly. And you guys, I've told this story before, but originally the music in here was another piece Okay. And and it was so viscerally disturbing that people wouldn't go in here. They would just turn around. They'd see a dentist chair. They'd turn around and leave. And so we, <laughs> we guilty as charged. <laughs> a little more upbeat music in here, so we switched it up. So people would think, okay, no, this isn't an evil place. This is this is. Got okay. it. Yeah, um, I'm. The, I'm glad you made that change because. Yeah, I had a hard time coming. It took me forever to get this puzzle when I was 10 years old and trying to play through this. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we all know how this works. Um, there's a there's a huge star field of this thing. And depending on how far uh -huh. you move these, it actually does an algorithm that oh, moves it the appropriate okay. amount and tries to, you know, times move it less than days and years and hours. And, right. You know. Blah, blah, so it's just blah. like a big texture map and you're just kind of pointing to specific coordinates on yeah, that texture map. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, here's, here's a cool little thing, by the way. This is something that was corrected in a couple. These, these uh, marble columns, Yeah. Those, for those of you who are, who are SNL fans, got to get yourself some marble columns. Um, <laughs> They were done on a lathe in Stratavision, and occasionally the lathe tool didn't do a full 360. And so you get- I didn't notice that. You get a little edge, and it's its probably the edge is, is just a plane, infinitely mm -hmm. small, but there was some kind of error correction that was wrong. And so you it didn't show up here. So that's why you don't see it there. I never noticed that. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah, just because yeah, they have little, a very specific shape, and so it's it's little, now that you yep. pointed it out, that's really jarring. <laughs> you can see it right there. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I'll ruin mist forever for lots of you. That's okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. I think I remember. I don't know if I remember these or not. I always like to do that one last, actually, because okay. I can watch the ship come up. I think it's that. 
Yeah, don't make fun of me if I get these wrong, because uh, you know I I could have looked all these up. I could have Googled this and looked up everything to make sure that <laughs> that nobody was you know that I looked like a genius. There we but, go. Ah, see that. I mean, now look, no cursor. I can't see anything, but <laughs> I'm used to playing this in in real time right and i'm i always do the leaf last because then i can just make a slight you can turn watch it yeah up, right in this case we had to do our magic with sound which we did that. here's another one i'll go in the library for a second um so the map this is one of those kind of disgusting interface things that we had to do because people weren't quite getting it sure. um, and it, it follows on with atrus's message and the imager and it just kind of layers the hints so that yeah. you know what's going on because he says remember the tower rotation right and without those nasty words at the bottom lighting up oh <laughs> you might not have known it and those weren't originally there got it um as i recall and we had to put them in because people didn't quite click those together right those, uh, yeah necessary. it's not really immediately obvious that that's the tower behind the library that yeah 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 so case and then you know there's always occasionally a look up which which we love that one you'll learn about later all right let's go here um there's more to there's more to this library you know people ask you know what is where are things and what did atris do oh there's there's got to be more in here. You won't find it in here, though. I, you won't find any of that let, yet. It's top secret. Maybe someday. All right. Let's. Uh, all right. So I've got the ship race. I'm not. I'm just going to solve puzzles on Mist Island first. Okay. Uh, and then we'll see if we've got time to go elsewhere before we run out of time. It's 5.12 um, right now, so we still have a good 40 minutes. Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, so. Wait, wait, that's the small hand. I went too far. Wait. Is that right? So one thing I like about Real Mist is that you can see the clock as you're moving the wheels to see the time. I know, I know. But I'm assuming yeah. technical limitations and things. Actually, you know, I think we could have done that pretty easily it just would have popped pop 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 you know it wouldn't have moved smoothly as we yeah moved it, but i think we could have done it um i think though it was robin rendered this down looking shot and so i just wired it up here oh, okay it made more sense i don't know why i'm Look at that. Look at the amazing effects. <laughs> all right. Really good animation there. All right. Now, I'm sure all of you, I, I, I didn't say spoiler alert, but I'm sure all of you got it. <laughs> I, now, it goes without saying. Um, uh, I got to try and remember this. Man, I thought, I thought coming into this, I'd remember a lot of these, but it's... Uh, um, Wow. Okay. I have to tell you. That, that, was, was, that was amazing. <laughs> that was pretty lucky. I know, I know there's, you know, I do it. I honestly, I do these different every time. I, so I know there's a certain thing I do every time, but I don't know which one to start with. So I just know. gotta say, I really, really like how the music ties in to the music you hear in the big one. For yeah. me, that's what that's, that was the hint for me. I was like, Oh, wait a minute that yeah <laughs> oh that's good yeah that was that was a chef's kiss moment of like oh yes right well this is the one that's you know so far away from the action it's on the opposite mm -hmm. end of the island so with the gears and all you know all the gears featured and the music we figured people would get it and i think yeah. most people do so because i think without the music i would have been a little confused of like great the gear opens now what yeah. it would have taken yeah, me yeah. a minute but like with the music it was like oh the big one opened 
Yeah. Well, okay. There's two I've solved without making a fool of myself, which <laughs> I'm I'm glad. I will. That's, make that's pretty good myself, considering how long it's been. <laughs> yeah. I'll take. I'll take those two, and then we'll see how poorly I do on the other ones. Actually, let's do. Let's. Um, yeah. Let's do this one. Um, if I can remember things and then we'll see. Uh, is it, is that it? Yes, <laughs> it is. This part took me forever because I wasn't familiar with a gas grill. So I didn't know about lighting the pilot. Oh, <laughs> so like I didn't understand. I'm like, what's with the matches? <laughs> well, this can be very educational for those. Yes, it was. <laughs> gas grills. You, you learn. I have a gas grill in the back that I've had a long time and the igniter doesn't work anymore. Oh, so I yeah. have to literally stick a, like two <laughs> days ago, stick a lighter in there and well, boom, that's terrifying. You know, make a, nice bursting gas sound every time I do it. Someday I'll fix the igniter. Yeah. All right, so. Wow, this is so, you know, I'm so used to realness where I can just turn that Joink, done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the picture of the tree is another yeah. one of those little hints that, oh, it's associated that with that. Took me forever to get that i was like it's a tree great <laughs> this was actually the last one that i solved when i played this back in the day i opened the other three but didn't get all the way through them i actually had a saved game back on mist island because oh, yeah. <laughs> like, i couldn't figure out how to get through any of them right, until right. i finally opened channel wood and that was the first one i got all the way through and then it dawned on me oh you actually there's there's purpose here and yeah nice. so this this has been wired up you know either better or worse in different versions of the game i love how this works in the original mist it is by far my favorite it gives the gives the best hints as far as i'm concerned how is it different versus the um other versions of mist well, you know, maybe I just take personal pride. This, by the way, I don't know that this is even working right. It doesn't seem like it to me. It should have reached the top. So it's supposed to show the pressure of that thing going up and down. So if I turn it down, I can control the speed of the tree gate which means that I don't have to rush. This is not a timing puzzle. It's just getting it time to go down the speed I want. Today I learned. Let's <laughs> see the meter is not working. It should be drifting oh. slow downward and then kachon and go the opposite way when it's going down. Oh, interesting. But I might not be, you know. Yeah, I always thought saying. it was all or nothing. I didn't know you could adjust the, the speed of the pressure. Yeah, some of these are more elegant than others, and this one's going to be a little tricky, it looks like. A lot of pride in my work in the original. Heck yeah. I'm playing this PC version, and there was this was not coded. See, that? See that's going. There we go. That's not how it's supposed to work, but I'm just going to run for it here. That there's no elegance in this PC version. Sorry, that Mac version was. I hate to say it, but the Mac version was uh, was the one I put a lot of elegance into that meter and works the best. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I rode the tree up several times. It took me forever to realize that it goes down, <laughs> and you can wow. ride it down. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we had to we had to make sure you could do that. Mm -hmm. Um, this one's solved. I'm not going to go here. I'm going to. I love the music in here. Robin did such a nice job with that one. Let's see if that goes up. I don't know if I. Does the button not work down there? 
this button, mm -hmm. that goes down. Oh. That's so if you're stuck at the top, you've got a way to come down. Oh, okay. Because otherwise there would be no way down. Yeah. Jump. Kidding. So this is going way too slow. Oh my God. I'm going to go back down. Turn it faster. I can't stand it. <laughs> Never mind. I better get out. Or I'm be stuck. It's going now. We're going might, off. There's it, just. It's it not might happening. only get you to ground level. So <laughs> I'm not going to solve that one. I'm going to go to some of the harder ones. By the way, this is probably the order I usually do these when mm -hmm. I play, if I'm testing. Um, because I can kind of get these done and this one. Okay, well, let's do it. I, I know I'm going to show you a couple of other little things that I think are kind of cool before we go there. Um, down in the four chamber, and I'm sure some of you know this, but Rawa and I were always meticulous. And the fact that Atris said to erase the message when he was done, just to be yeah. safe, we added the the erase in there where you could actually erase messages. Oh. If you hold down, I think if you hold down the button or if you push it five times, I can't remember. And again, in some of the versions, it's, it, it, the point was not to make it easy to erase things. The point was for story reasons, if Atris said mm -hmm. you could erase it, it yeah. needed to have a way to erase it. So, we it. and that was in the original. I don't know if it's here, but I thought I would just. I'm learning all sorts of things today because, again, I, yeah. that was another I thing. Just, I had no idea it was in there. <laughs> bring that up. All right. Still got the tree gate flying upward. All right. Let's, uh, let's get the spaceship going. Everybody's favorite. I was going to say everybody's favorite. Actually, that was my favorite one. That was the first one I unlocked was opening the spaceship. This part took me forever, but once yeah. I got in there, it was it this was is the one I always do last, and it's going to be the most embarrassing, but I'll give you my technique for it, which I'm sure is everybody's <laughs> hit technique. random numbers till you hit 59 and then <laughs> go for okay. it. I always remember that there's a 10. I don't ever remember, but I know that that one, it's a 10. I have to push them. It's a 10, a one, and a two. Okay. So those are easy for me to remember. And then usually I'll just push a few more. 49, boom. So now I've gotten close enough where all I need is the 10. So as long as I remember there's a 10, a one, and a two, I can almost get anything by pushing random ones down here and then using the 10 and the one and the two. So boom. Nice job. I don't I don't ever remember the pattern. I honestly don't remember well, what there's, pattern there's seven. I don't push like the things. buttons, so I just the 10, 1, and 2 give me enough information to make it happen. I like it. It'd be fun to get other people's technique techniques on these, too. Yeah, for a long time, mine was hit random buttons till I added to 59, and then go flip whatever breaker I I can't stand <laughs> flipping those breakers. I never want to flip the breakers. Like, oh, I never wanted oh, to flip them either. <laughs> gotta climb the pole. I don't want to climb the pole. <laughs> Especially right. in real mist, it's kind of awkward to climb those poles and it's awkward to flip the breakers. But, and then the last time I was working through, um, I was playing it through and, and streaming, I was doing this. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, I should actually like write down what, what generator produces how many volts and then just do math. <laughs> Cause of course that's the way to do it. If that would be easy and fun, but Who'd have thunk? Know, hard, is, hard is much better. All right, so I can go to an age now. Let's just do this first. Hold on. Oh, you get to watch Hello, yourself. First. You get to watch yourself Put ramble. Awesome. Put our no, it's, no, it's Robin. Here. You're you're in the blue one. Yeah. I'm not gonna listen to these guys because you know. Eh. Eh. Is it too weird? Crazy guy. You know, I gotta say, being Akinar was easy. Yeah. Because for some reason, it's uh, being a crazy is just seems easier. That just Go that figure. just flowed naturally because know. there were no rules. <laughs> you could just do whatever. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's see here. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'll go to Stone Ship. Now, I'm gonna say this first. Mist Island was the first island that Robin did and it was our test to see if we could even do this. I mean, we right. were building not just, you know, the first things we did in Stratavision were little, probably a lot of you aren't old enough to remember but when 3D rendering software came out, people would just do marbles on on things. And so it was very small <laughs> little- uh, Bryce, you know, floating landscapes with lots of marbles. Yeah, guilty. Yeah, <laughs> landscapes were just kind landscapes of- Landscapes were hard, yeah. Mm -hmm we didn't know, and especially with trees and everything we wanted to put in there. Mm -hmm. um, so mist was first and there's a lot of things we did to conserve it. And mist continues to be one of the most difficult areas that we build even today because there's so much there. There's so oh, many really? different directions you can go and has so much there compared to the other ages, which are smaller and self-contained. Um, okay. But stone, stone ship was one of the later ones. So it's got some it's got some some cool stuff too. I can't I think we can look up here anymore, can we? We can in you know real mist. I think there's stuff up there, but you can you can go up there in real mist. I know there's a fun little Easter egg up there. Yeah. So I've told this story before, but this cushion on this chair gave me freaking fits in the original <laughs> mist because, and I know I'm probably repeating this, but. For, for these worlds, all of these ages had their own palette in the original mist of 256 colors. We had to do right. the entire world in 256 colors. And that- And here's a purple we've never seen before. That palette had to work for the whole world. And so I remember we, we had tools that would sample in every image in the entire age yeah. and then give you a sampling and it gave us lots of nice browns and reds because of the yeah. tree barks and there was lots of those sampled and i remember opening this door and going what is that and it was this <laughs> hideous brown like where's the oh, purple no. and i had to go into the actual palette and find browns that were similar and just replace them with shades of purple so it would okay dither that final one nicely one you know, basically, I think I got probably five or six shades of purple, and that was mm -hmm. what we needed to make it look okay. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go, shall we? Let's do it. Oh, fly-throughs, by yes. the way. Man, when is, okay, anybody who was around during this time when Miss came out, they every, the fly-throughs were a real, real prize because it was this animated world you were, you know, that computer I and mean, this stuff was generated. It was kind of hard to do. Sure. Well, we had the same response. We we're rendering these tiny little movies, but man, when they were done, we, we would just sit there and stare at them slack jawed, like, Oh my gosh. This oh, is sure. So cool. Um, because it was so unusual. This was before, you know, Jurassic park. There wasn't yeah. a lot of computer rendering. And so, this was it early was days of magic fancy for us. CG. Yeah, and yeah. We thought it was a, a valuable reward for getting the books, you know. See as that. as it should be, because it's yeah. really cool. Yeah. Oh, that's and right. Then, of course, full screen in the masterpiece version was very cool. This was a recent discovery for me. I didn't actually play Masterpiece Edition back in the day. Ah. Um, I played it like like last year. I played it very, very recently. And um, yeah, I, I, I didn't know that this was one of the big changes, and I was like, Okay, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like it. Pretty nice. Okay, here we go. Yes. Here we go. So, from a from a story perspective, this was Atrus's first attempt to write a ship into an age. Am I understanding that right? Well, sort of, kind of, maybe. Well, kind of, maybe. I mean, okay. yeah, the books kind of describe some of it in the library and. Mm -hmm. We, I don't know that Robin and I had a full grasp of the art at that point because we were doing backstory at the same time as sure. we were doing the game. And I think we always looked at it as, as an anomaly. So, so yes, very briefly, because I don't want to get too esoteric here, but <laughs> the dummy had rules about writing. And yeah. one of their rules was you, you just don't usually write man-made objects into a world because okay. 
because it, you were linking to a place that already existed. You weren't creating this place. Right. And so right. if you wrote man-made objects into the world, it would mean that there were people there who had to have built that and it had a history. Mm -hmm. And um, and that would mess up with you linking in because they could be hostile or you know all of that stuff. Well, yeah. Atrus played with that. I mean, he broke a few of the rules. Catherine broke a lot of the rules. But she Atrus broke a lot of rules. And, and it, I think in our minds, this is one of those ones he he was playing with a little okay. bit you know um so yeah i it, we never got into any more details than that of where these necessarily came from other than what's in the this it's a, it's honestly one of my favorite ages and it was just always something that i just kind of wondered of like yeah. how did this come to be and yeah. it's yeah. and listen it's one of those things that missed um in some ways and robin especially um will say this and would if he was here i will i will uh i will channel robin for a second um <laughs> there is stuff in mist that's um between mist and riven we'll just say sure. between the two okay mist has things that because we were we were experimenting and developing things as we were going if they feel a little more magic and unexplained and i remember robin talking about one of this. those worlds where you come in and there's a ship right into the middle of the rock and you're not mm -hmm. sure but aesthetically it's so cool and so interesting mm -hmm. and we just didn't feel like we needed to over explain it um yeah when it came time to do riven we had already we had done the backstory and there was a novel and there was a lot of mm -hmm. stuff that we wanted to get down in there and explain so riven was a different animal and it yeah. took on a different life and and it, it can be appreciated with that in mind that everything yeah. was part of that environment and done for a reason. And there's still things, you know, that are hard to explain, obviously, sure. but it was much more intricately woven without the, without the, I'll just call it magic element. Yeah. And so uh, it's nice to have both because there's a yeah. cool element to that unexplained thing in, um, in Mist as well. It came up because I think it was last year during the panel. And I, I remember this conversation. Somebody asked about, the linking book in the in the captain's quarters because it just kind of morphs out of the table. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. The uh, sorry, I never remember which of these is which. It's okay, I don't either. No, we'll just do it the easy way. Yeah, of course, it's nope, the last one. Not that one. <laughs> that one always works. Um, yeah. So, do you want to know the real story of why there's? Do we do we answer why there's a book morphing out of a table? Um, I, I I think you. I think it was the the magic conversation, um, and I think it was also because you had the technology and it was fun. So, <laughs> yeah. it, it was one of those that I think I think Strata had just. I mean, they were continually improving their software with yeah. interesting stuff, and as they did, we were like, oh, we could use that. And one of the things I think they came out with was. You know, setting up morph targets and going from yeah. one shape to another. I think some of the, the skull, skull and the rose. Skull rose, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I know. I, that, I always remember that one going. That's that's kind of a weird. That okay, sure. Let's yeah. go with that one. <laughs> right. Um, I love this puzzle. I I always thought that everything in here was really a well designed puzzle because you. I agree. You got to just think through everything, and it's all right there for you to. Yep. to grab you just have to think a little bit differently you know before it all comes together and it's very satisfying when you do and that is the fact that you have to close that is just like yes that part took me a minute but yeah i i remember yeah. i remember the that that aha rush when i finally got that one and yep. yep yep and i always i love that view going up and down the stairs by the way, getting these shots, and again, if Robin was here, he could go into details, but getting the shots where they were aesthetically pleasing and they also gave you the right places to, mm -hmm. to indicate where you could go was not always easy. And there's a few- I imagine. Had, yeah, we had to redo to kind of um, make it work. Um, but I love, I love the stone in here and the wood in mm -hmm. here. It always seemed to work well. And this is- this is when we, you know, Robin's getting better at textures and we're kind yep. of realizing we can do things that don't seem quite as repetitive and have nice bump maps on them. And yeah, um, yeah. this is one of the later ages and I, I think it shows. Oh, okay. So after Mist, which one was the, what, what was next? You built Mist Island, which one was next? Um, 
You know, I I think Robin did this one after Miss Island. Um, okay. I'm not sure. By the way, I always like this too. And again, this is hard to do in a real time game, having a yeah. perfectly dark hallway. You can't. Right. The fact that it's point and click, you just keep going forward and you can get away <laughs> with that. In a real time, when we made it real time, we had to kind of adjust things here and there. So, mm -hmm. um, and of course, this is this bedroom's kind of like iconic in that I think Robin had had gotten certainly gotten used to the tools enough where he could start to yeah. really do some fun stuff. And this yeah. one is extravagant because it could be it, he you know as we went along he he figured out all kinds of techniques to to really make some elegant stuff and it's probably over elegant i mean who you know you're not going to put very a down in there but it's <laughs> it's kind of magical and and shows off a little of the text techniques he had yeah picked up while he was while he was going and doing things um oh, serious is serious is drugs yeah, he, he, I think it's diabetes. Uh, yeah. We'll just, that's what, we'll, sure. that's what we'll call it. You know, I just noticed something. That chandelier, what? I think, is the same one that's used in the library. Um, it probably is because we would try and reuse things. It was always yes. good to reuse. It literally you know. dawned on me, like, as you walked into the room. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> the mm, black ship's fabric. I love the black ship cloth mm. for some reason. Let's grab that. Red page. Yeah, my first Mysterium was in. Oh, I that. forgot those are drawers that come out. Honey and jewels and pearls. Yes. Pearls. He's got pearls. <laughs> yeah, my and first of course, Mysterium. this was another another one of those. Oh, yes, areas. the morphing. The, we the, can, yes. We can play with it. We've got things we can do and play with. Sorry, I got to move things here. I got to move that to do it. There we there go. We go. Yeah, more of that just learning tools and making little toys in there that seemed fun. Yeah. Yeah, that thing was really cool. Okay. No, my yeah, my first Mysterium was in Spokane that year, and Shumi had brought uh, a uh, not a bolt, but some of that like super soft satin fabric that was black with the black ship's logo printed on it, just oh, for fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was really cool. Yeah. So cool. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna do this yes. and these were always tricky because we didn't want inventory i mean obviously right. here i am holding the page in my hand which is also really weird because i can only have icons that are so big and mm -hmm. it's like ah we don't want to mess with inventory so we just you know made it work key goes in if you walk out with the key you know you lose the key wasn't the point wasn't the point of things and of course you know nice battery pack with a generator yeah who doesn't have one of those in the top of their lighthouse me <laughs> i don't know if it's charged enough nope yeah, there. i love how how all the puzzles in this world work on this age i mm -hmm. think it's I think it's pretty elegant i'm you know i like how they all fit together i like how there's visual lines of the power even the power yeah. lines so it yeah. kind of gives you a clue that you know what you're what you're what you're doing or following the leads i, I like that in abduction as well yeah um, wait oh like, don't oh, look there's lights there what was i doing time's a waste and Where's my path? No, where is it? It's really hiding really well. Hidden, very hidden, almost to the point of ridiculousness, right? All right. Uh, 135, right? So 90 plus 45. Boom. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Boom. <laughs> nice little uh, lens flares in there. Yeah. That is one thing I do like about Realness that I cannot wait to see in the fancy version is underwater. 
I, oh. yeah. yeah, I would just like keep the hand, the, the, the power cranked and then just hang out down there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's just, it's soothing. It's lovely. And the, the mu- and Robin did such a phenomenal job with the ambience yeah. and the music. And it's just like, oh, I could just hang out down here. This is another one of those shots that when I got it in from Robin, the way this would work is um, essentially Robin would be rendering images and I would okay. be building in the interaction and connecting those and making sure the hot spots were in the right spot. So it sure. felt right. Sure. And, and then I get a huge batch of new new images. And so, and I've told this before as well, but I would put those together and I'd be the first one to essentially walk through. I would nice. literally in HyperCard, yeah. put a hot spot, link it to a new card and put the new image of the card on there. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I could take another step essentially, which is yeah. cool. And I remember getting this batch in and it was so beautiful. I just loved the feeling down here, oh, wow. with, even with the reflection, reflection in the glass and yeah. the shadows, the way those work, it just was very satisfying. Yeah. And of course, who doesn't want, you a know, morphing a morphing book. book out of a table? <laughs> because we could. Because, exactly. I, hate I think to when leave, I first but... saw that, I kept going back from the table and reapproaching it, going back and reapproaching it, just to watch the book come up and down yep. and up and down. Yep. All right, we've got one age down. One down. We here we go. Um, anything else I need to do in here? The, the, uh, no. This was interesting because I'm not going to yeah. get back to it, but we decided that the the best way to hide these was to just do a lot of pages mm-hmm. because that way no one could try them all. Exactly. So I forget what it is. There 250 or something pages. I don't remember the hundred. I don't know. I, don't I, I didn't look at all of them. There's a lot though. Maybe we'll find out because I'm curious now. I think there was 200. <laughs> wow. Wow. 300. 300. Yes. Wow. And all of these, all of these uh, symbols I generated, I just wrote an algorithm to generate random. Oh, okay. Card, so. Oh, thank God. Because I thought you, I thought somebody was doing these by hand and I was like, no. <laughs> it, this is one of the interface items that was really interesting. And, and again, in point and click works so well, a little more difficult in real time because we were like, okay, how are you going to get through this? Well, if you hold down, we'll just have it go in tens essentially. Right. And, and I think I forgot you could do that until just now. <laughs> works well. Um, there we go. You return. Hey, Robin's with us after all. <laughs> we were acting geniuses. You, you guys did really well with that. Oh my gosh, it was uh, it was fun in the basement doing that stuff. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to mechanical. Whoops, wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> See if we can get to mechanical. And... No, why did I do that? No, I was just gonna say you just turned it off. <laughs> it's like a habit. It's like a habit. There we go. Let's go here. Mechanical is actually, and I've said this before, it's loosely based on a D and D world I did way, way back. Really? Um. My brother was into D and D, and I, I, I really didn't like all the rolling dice and random stuff. So I built a world to take essentially my brothers and their friends through. That was that was a lot more logical. Just got it. Okay. You had to open doors, and there was a you know you had to open doors one way, and that locked it a different way. Then when you closed it, it opened up again, and mm-hmm. you got into this fortress and the fortress was a, a lot like this yeah L- looking it's based very loosely i think 
I think we passed that on to Chuck and he used it as just kind of a, a really loose reference for what he built, but not, not to be anything more than just a, a rough, uh, very rough reference. And I do not remember those. I have it written down, things. but <laughs> I don't remember them either. Good. Okay. I'm I did like the, uh, the the mini models that are in uh, in Cirrus's throne room there. Yeah. Right? Okay, I did really get a, get a kick out of those. So these were these are yeah. the actual models of the spaceship and the ship. Yeah. That saved us time and also painted a little bit of story here. I think here's these are these are problematic because they're interactive and. Whenever you put interactive things in, it's it's red herring esque, where people mm -hmm. go, "Oh, wait, no, maybe those colors mean something because they're lighting up." Right. And generally speaking, we put things in that when you were you're over top of them. I mean, we tried to make it so that it was obvious. These don't really do anything but just when you hover over them, they glow. They're so beautiful. So they seem a little bit maybe not as much of a hint. Yeah. Um, there was a and the clock is from Selenetic Age, right? By the by the window. The what? There's a clock yeah. by the window. That's from Selenetic, right? Yep. 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 Yeah, clock that tower. one. Mini it's version of the clock tower. <laughs> We've got this was originally a music box. Okay. You could open up and play. Yeah. And ended up being not enough time uh, to put that in correctly, so we just left sure. a little box that has nothing in it that is kind of ridiculous. So. Uh, let's you know what let's go to Akinar this time see if I can make it back in time I know we've got a we don't have a lot of time left but yeah we've got we... about 10-15 minutes left yeah. whoa that moves that moves fast. faster than I remember hey, it hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh That's no, cheating. no, no. What was that? <laughs> okay, missing some elegance here. Now don't spin around one more. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot faster than I remember it moving. A lot. That was a lot happening. Um, the yellow on there was a was a later addition. Okay. Because nobody noticed the panel, obviously it's mm -hmm. not anything you notice. So we put a yellow mark on there, and that helped enough that we that it worked. Um, and then because everything in here is symmetrical, mm -hmm. um, we didn't need as much on the other side. Even though it's hidden by the carpet, we figured people would figure out that um, you know, it's symmetrical, and they did. It's not the best, but people got it. Look at that. He's a chemistry guy. He likes to kill people. And then Chuck with his, you know, chilled monkey brains or whatever that is in there. Well, I mean, there's a there's a headsman's block right there. Yep. Yep. This is a scary little part here. I love yeah. the, love the sparks. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> this whole room changes our ratings, doesn't it? Man. Spooky stuff. All right. Let's see. Let's see what I got here. All right, this is another one of those puzzles that I thought was very cool. We all loved this one. I actually really don't like this one. It took me forever to get it. <laughs> I stared at those buttons for hours. You know what? I I'm not going to have time to rotate this and finish this. I'm just going to go back down. Do you I need the, to, do I need to give you a hint? Yeah, this was the clue, though. You push it, and it sits there ticking. It doesn't go immediately. So, so. We thought that was enough of a clue. Yeah. Still like I it. just remember staring at it going, why is it beeping? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, it's one of those puzzles that at the end you go, oh, I think it's yeah. me, not, not them. I should have should have known. Why is my... All right. Yeah, we're just going to cheat and... <laughs> you know, let me... See. I, I, I don't know why my camera's no. fritzing out, sorry. Yeah, so the first one is Cyan's logo that's rotated. 
that one. Okay. Second one is the two triangles and one rectangle. Uh, that one. Third one is the three triangles and the ball. That one. Fourth one is the hemisphere. That one. Cheated. We cheated. <laughs> Sorry. I won't tell anyone. Oh, wait, it's public. <laughs> I love getting the music when you, you know, when you, it's, it, it's satisfying. There's something emotional about music when you. It's true. That right. And I can't believe we, we weren't going to put music in. Kind of crazy. I remember that conversation in the making of video, I think it was, where like it wasn't going to have music and then it, yeah, because it was about the mood, right? Robin was really concerned about it affecting the mood of the. Well, I, honestly, we thought of this as a real place. We, yeah, to this, to us, we were building a real world. And so yeah. sounds we wanted to be environmental. And I think, you know, our first experiments with it were. There he is. <laughs> You've returned. Okay. Now, uh, I'll go down here and show you. One of our first experiments with it is, was here. This is yeah. not music. It's much more environmental. And I think mm -hmm. when we were okay with this because I, th I think we were looking at this like, well, music doesn't play while you walk around. Mm -hmm. in the real world unless you're in a department store or an elevator so right so we were a little shy of making music and worried that it would be repetitive and so it was the start was to make it very ambient you know okay. very less music and more just sounding like drips and echoes in a cave if you were mm -hmm. in a cave um but i think as robin went on and he can he'd have to tell this story he realized that as the music became more melodic, there were themes that kind of mm -hmm. developed and, mm -hmm. and it was very satisfying for him to do, you know, an Akinar kind of theme and an yeah. age theme and then mix those up. So you, you, when you're in channel wood, you get a much more rhythmic version of that, that still has, still pulls on Akinar's side of things for one and Cirrus's side on the other. Mm -hmm. And when you're in stone or when you're in mechanical, you get a very, um, well, that's the one that's ry rhythmic, mechanical, almost you know chunky kind of mm -hmm. sound, but it mm -hmm. still draws on the two, on the two brothers when you're yeah. in, their, in their separate rooms. And I think that was very satisfying. And we realized emotionally then, mm -hmm. when you went into those places, it was the first time we realized how much that would affect you and how much a, 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 an ominous piece could could scare you from going into a place. And that's yeah. when we, you know, to full, come full circle, realized that going into this room, those pieces were very valuable and yeah. music is sets a mood that we hadn't realized was as powerful as it is. And if we did it well, it didn't become monotonous. It wasn't something that, feel, that felt repetitive. It felt mm -hmm. like it was, it was part of the area. It so, felt natural. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm, uh, I'm almost over time. Okay. So I want to wrap things up so that you guys can, can, you know, do other things and whatever, but we should leave it on this guy here because <laughs> it's just fun acting crazy. I have to say, you know, we can do it here. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think our attendees are going to get a kick out of that. <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was fun. Hey, this was great because I don't, I just don't get to do this that often. I was going to say, well, how was the, that? Was going to be my literal next thing I was going to say. How was this for you? It's been a while. Like it's been a long time, and the only thing I do is play this. I I play new versions. I I mean, we played the um, the quest version forever because. Yeah while we're testing i go in the quest version and i love i mean the vr just immerses me so there's I something really wait. cool about it so, <laughs> yeah yeah and um you know the the pc final touches that they're putting on the on the 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 new version is oh it's exquisite so yeah that it's gonna be a blast um 
But, but when you're playing I mean, it, you're looking for issues, right? It's yeah, exactly. And I can't really relax and enjoy and just right. kind of tell the stories of of what we did back yeah. in the day. So it brings back fun memories to just kind of reminisce and and tell little little things. So it's uh yeah, kind of cool for me. That's I appreciate awesome. the opportunity. Well, hey, we really appreciate you being willing to do this. This is I, I know folks are gonna be really excited to uh I mean, they're watching right now, but <laughs> so yeah, again, uh, Mysterium, thank you guys for the support and stuff. We've, we're, we've got a lot of things going on right now. Yep. Um, and more people at the company will be telling you things that are going on, but it's been a busy year. Yeah. And thank you guys for all the continued support. We're, we're rolling on lots of fun things and um, yeah. Yeah. Hope That's you guys amazing. have a big mysterium. Thank you guys for including me. Of course. Well, I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> it would be weird not to have you in here. Um, I love it. And yeah. you know, now that COVID's over, we'll, uh, at some point we'll have to get you back in a, at our place, you know, at one of these years. So yeah, absolutely. That'd be really fun. Oh my goodness. Rand, thank you so much. Um, yeah, this was absolutely phenomenal. We'll have to uh, look at options for for you know future mysteriums having you know try, trying this again <laughs> but streaming obviously because it that's a thing but anyway um My pleasure My yay pleasure. all right i'm gonna Thank turn off guys. the stream i'm gonna switch gears over into marker mission mode because that's next so okay. coming up next after these messages <laughs> All right. Thank you guys. Have a great Mysterium. And uh, thank you so much, Rand. Have a wonderful weekend. All right. You guys too. All right. Bye -bye. <laughs> See ya.